What's up guys and welcome back to Gladiator's Tribe and today I will be taking you guys with me to Monaco to an exclusive event organized by Head Tennis to celebrate the launch of the 2024 Head Speed Legend and joining us at this event will be the legend himself Novak Djokovic. So let's get started. Because Monaco doesn't really have a proper airport I couldn't fly directly there and had to fly to Nice and honestly it makes sense for Monaco not to have an airport because the airport in Nice is like 20 minutes away by train but I still had to get to the train station from the airport. While waiting for my train I had was probably the best croissant I've ever had in my life. I'm really picky when it comes to croissants but I guess it's no surprise we're in France right? Anyway, starting my journey to Monaco from this beautiful train station, I got on the train and enjoyed 20 minutes of beautiful views around me, only to realize upon arrival that the hotel that had has booked for us was back in Nice, so I had to hop on a train back as soon as I arrived to Monaco. In fact, the hotel was only 10 minutes away walking from the train station, so that was very funny, but I finally got to my destination. Alright, lads, let's see how the room is. I mean, it's cozy, very cozy, it's a nice view. Alright, glad, so we've arrived to the hotel, it's a very cozy, nice little room. It's a three-star hotel, yet it's like 150 euros per night, which you kind of gives you an idea of the prices in Nice. And yeah, you, I probably already told you the story how I thought the hotel was in Monaco, I didn't check. And I took the train to Monaco and then had to come back. But yes, the transfer is picking us up in one hour and we're going to Monaco, to Monte Carlo, where the event is taking place in the Yacht Club, which is, you know, fancy. So I have about an hour to get dressed, uh, shower, get dressed and, uh, and yeah, just get ready. Uh, event started at 4 and uh, Novak is going to arrive at 5. So that's going to be exciting and there's just a lot of things to, to go through. I'm thinking of maybe trying to reach out to uh, Daniel Medvedev to see if he, you know, I could uh, maybe get some tickets to watch his match tomorrow. But yes, today it's super packed, meeting Novak and tomorrow, tomorrow I guess we'll see. But yeah, let's get started. Alright, Glads, it's time to go. Please. Thank you. Whoop. Bonjour. My French speakers let me know what you think about my accent, but what I have to say is that taking the train to Monaco from Nice makes way more sense than taking a car, because it's pretty much half the time. For those who don't know, the Yacht Club of Monaco is a super exclusive club that is really hard to get into, and it's not even about the money, which, well, it is also expensive, but in order to become a member, you have to be recommended by another member of the club, which is, well, interesting. But yes, that was the venue chosen by Head, which kind of highlights the importance of the event. When we entered the room, we were welcomed by the Head team and shown around the place. I immediately spotted the Head bags, customized by Pauline from Art Custom Box, which would be signed by Novak Djokovic and given to us at the end of the event. Alright, glad so. We entered the main area of the event, right here. A lot of camera people. Uh, getting a little intimidated with my small little camera by you know, all these setups. But anyways, so uh, <clears throat> yeah, this is, uh, this is the main display. Uh, Novik is gonna come up to every single racket and sort of tell a little story behind the, each frame. From the first one, from the liquid metal radical, all the way up to the 2023 special edition, you know, like the, the black head speed. Over here. And then, um, the presentation of the 2024 speed is gonna happen on this stage. And yeah. We were then given some time to walk around and explore the venue, and that was when I filmed some vertical content for our Instagram page. By the way, feel absolutely free to follow us there for the most fresh updates from Gladiator Stripe and some really cool vertical content. We were then offered some exquisite snacks and beverages that I of course got the taste of. This was also the moment when I met the Tennis Warehouse team who were also at the event. Always a pleasure to talk to them and what could be a smoother transition to reminding you that if there's absolutely anything tennis related that you're planning to get for your next uh, training session, the link to get that anything, like always, is down in the description below together with our exclusive discount code. This saves you some money and this really helps the channel. So, back to the video. Then Novak arrived. Right. 
but you know, I always try to understand the different angles uh, of the business, of uh, the marketing, as you say, the brand, head, myself, how we can make this collaboration work, uh, not just on the court, but also off the court, and, and make it more appealing to the, to the people. And you supported us making a difference, really a difference. Yeah, well, I'm, you know, very happy to do that. And, and After the fancy presentation, we will walk through every head racket that Novak ever played with and told some interesting behind the scenes and stories related to each one, including a story from back when Novak worked with Agassi on how he helped him pick out the racket. He brought literally three full bags of rackets. There was about 50 rackets, and I said, I'm not going to go through the entire process, please. He said, no, no, no. You know, I just brought all these rackets so you see the kind of process that I went through with the technical oh, okay. team. And then we chose three. Oh. And, and there are three rackets. If you don't like these three, I guarantee you there's one of the, the, the racket that you're looking for is between those three. Okay. I'm 99% sure, and he was right. And he says, uh, I don't think you'll, it'll take a long time for you to find a racket. It took me 30 minutes. Wow. So out of all the 50 rackets, that he brought, he said these three, and then I played with the three, and I said, okay, instantly this is the racket. So he said you're gonna have a bit, you know bigger reach, and your returns is gonna help you with the serve. You know, it's gonna help you with most of your shots as you're getting older. This is the first uh, first Wimbledon exactly, mm -hmm. and uh, they were playing around a lot with this graphene material that uh, okay. I was kind of giving feedback, and I I actually liked my my grip to be uh, slightly smaller than it, at that time than what it is okay. today, I would say, but, and in a search constantly for that racket. Okay. So it took me a year to really okay. find it, and that's why that racket has suffered a lot. And uh, I don't know where those broken rackets are, but if there are any kids, I saw there are kids here, please do not break your rackets, oh, I'm sorry. After the walkthrough, it was time for the reveal of the 2024 head speed legend, which was even a little bit emotional. Then the very cute photo shoot with the entire Djokovic family. So the presentation of all the rackets from the first racket that he ever played with from Head all the way up to the latest one and of course the presentation of the 2024 Head Speed has uh, come to an end. Novak left, I'm not sure where he is now but yeah now we got a chance to take a look at all of the rackets and actually you know feel them a little bit but these are like actual Novak's racket they have even like his uh, his name on it and everything and I don't know if it's if it's me but they do feel different they feel uh, they feel like, you know, Grand Slam worthy. I'd really love to try to play with one of these. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, that's it. I'm not sure what we're doing now, but it's, it's great to see also Novak's family here. His kids are wonderful. His wife is beautiful. So yeah, what an event. I have to say that it was pretty cool to check out all of these pretty exclusive frames and I actually got really curious about playing with them. So I will be reaching out to Head pretty soon to see if we can organize a playtest. And Glads, let me know if you'd be interested in seeing something like that down in the comments below. Alright Glad, so I'm about to get kicked out for what I'm about to do right now. So this is Novak's actual racket, okay, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I think nobody's looking. Okay, I'll put it back. And then it was time for the gifts, and I was really looking forward to it. Hi, I have a beautiful friend. Hello, I have a beautiful friend here. <laughs> it's time for the goodies. Thank you very much. Are you happy? I'm so happy. There's there's something inside it. Yeah, check. No, there check. isn't. There's, I thought there was a racket. Nothing. I don't get a racket. You don't deserve, I'm sorry. It is what it is. Ciao! So yes, I didn't get the racket, but I got this awesome uh, head tennis bag, which by tradition, of course, I will be taking to all of my future tournaments. And for those of you wondering who's that beautiful voice behind the scenes was uh, in the end of the previous clip, that's Mara Santangelo, who uh, was my camera woman for the event, but also, you know, the ex number 27 
in the world and the winner of the 2007 Roland Garros, but this of course has way less importance. Primarily, she was my camera woman. And Mari, if you're watching this, ciao. I don't think anyone noticed, right? So there you have it, Glads. This is the end of my trip to Monaco. I did reach out to Dasha, uh, Daniel's wife, to ask for the tickets. And she said that there would be no problem. But Daniel wasn't playing on the day that I was there. And he wasn't going to play on the next day. So I would have to stay for two extra days. And uh, there were rain delays. And I just had to be back in Barcelona. So unfortunately, I didn't uh, get to watch uh, Daniel's match. But... What was funny is that on the way back to Barcelona, uh, I was taking the plane, obviously, I sit down on my seat and I hear some Argentinian accent Spanish speech around me. And then I look across and guess who I see? Diego Schwarzman. Imagine. So, yeah, he was taking the same plane to go from Nice to Barcelona because obviously because of the Barcelona Open. But what a coincidence and what a way to end this incredible trip. Special huge thanks to Head Tennis for organizing this beautiful event and, of course, inviting me to be part of it. I'm really looking forward to more events with you guys and glad for now. I really hope you've enjoyed this episode of Gladiator Stripe. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe? Alright, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.